Hey guys, what's up? Hi everyone. This is Ananya, your SST Master Teacher here at Vedantu. First of all, guys, if you people are new on this channel, let me welcome you guys to the family of Vedantu's 9th and 10th English. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and also show some love by hitting the like button. Thank you so much in advance. All right, people. So what are we going to do in this particular video? Guys, in this video, we are going to continue with natural vegetation and wildlife of India. The chapter is really very important and really very interesting from your term two point of view. So make sure that you people are attending each and every session of mine till the very end. All right, people. First of all, guys, uh, if you people are new on this channel and if you haven't watched my previous sessions on this chapter, make sure that you people are watching my previous videos that will help you to understand the topics which I have covered in my previous sessions. Because in my previous session, I have already completed the factors on which the types of vegetation and wildlife depends. And I have also completed the types of vegetation in India. All right. So if you want to understand those two topics in detail, make sure that you guys are watching my previous videos on those two topics. All right. Guys, this is going to be the third session on this chapter. So without any further delay, let's get started with our session. All right. And guys, today, as you know, we are going to continue with the wildlife of India. All right. Chalo. So let's get started. But guys, do not forget to like this video and keep on sharing our videos with all your friends. And one more important thing, guys, if you people are having a great time with us on YouTube, guys, so you can take our pro subscription also wherein you guys can attend all my live session like this is a recorded session. Guys, you can attend all the live session of all the master teachers by taking our pro subscription link is there in the description box. AD Pro is my coupon code. If you use that code, you will get additional discount. All right, the code is already applied. If you go to through the link which is there in the description box of this video, and will definitely guide you at the end of this session how you guys can be a part of my pro subscription, guys. My batches. All right. So without any further delay, let's get started with the session, guys. Now, guys, you can see a map on the right hand side of the screen. This map is helping us to understand about the various wildlife centuries, bird centuries and national parks in various parts of India. The same map you will come across in your NCRT, guys. Okay? Chalo. So guys, let's talk more on the wildlife of India. First of all, guys, India is very, very rich with, it, with its fauna. Now, guys, fauna is a term which is used to denote various species of wildlife. All right? Wild animals. Now, guys, India has more than 89,000 of animal species. India as a country has more than 1,200 species of birds, which constitute to 13% of the world's total. Guys, you have to remember these numbers. These numbers are very, very important. Now, guys, not only this, there are nearly 2,500 species of fishes, which accounts for nearly 12% of the world's total stock. All right. Guys, it has also shared, it means India also shares between 5 to 8 percent of the world's amphibians, reptiles and mammals. Guys, who are referred as amphibians? Guys, amphibians are the animals which lives in both, which lives on both land and water. All right. And mammals are the animals which gives birth, which gives birth to the live babies and they do not lay eggs. All right, guys. So you should know the difference between amphibians and mammals. All right, people, let's continue with some more facts and let's talk about some of the important animals of India in detail. Now, guys, elephant found in hot, wet forest of Assam, also in Karnataka and in Kerala. Not only this, you will also come across one horned rhinosaurus in India. Especially, it lives in the swampy and marshy lands of Assam and West Bengal. Followed by India is also a natural habitat of lions. All right, guys. So the natural habitat of Indian lion is Gir Forest. Gir Forest is in Gujarat, in the western part of India. Followed by, guys, you will come across tigers. So, guys, tigers will welcome you in Madhya Pradesh, Sundarbans of West Bengal, and also in Himalayan regions of India. Followed, guys, if you go to the deserted regions, the arid regions of India like Gujarat and Rajasthan, you will come across wild ass and also camels. Okay? Coming to some of the important Himalayan animals, we have Varul, followed by Kyang, then Snow Leopard, Yak, Tibetan Antelope, Red Panda, looks very cute, right? And also Bear. 
ठीक है ऑल दीज एनिमल्स विल कम अक्रॉस इन हिमालय फॉलोड बाई वी हैव ऑल्सो वाइल्ड शीप आई बेक्स यस All right, people. So I hope the topic till now is clear to everyone. If yes, guys, do not forget to like this video. And guys, now quickly, I'm going to tell you how you guys can be a part of my pro subscription. Now, guys, the biggest question you will have in your mind, especially if you people are new on this channel, guys, I want you guys to wait for next two minutes. Listen to this, this because this is going to be something amazing for you guys. Now, guys, you will be like, sir, if we are able to understand everything on YouTube, why we should take your pro subscription, guys? First of all, the session which you are watching right now, this is a recorded session, and the biggest difference between watching a recorded session and a live session is lack of interaction in recorded session, guys. If you have any doubts, if your concepts are not clear, it is very, very difficult. If you want to ask questions, it is very, very difficult for you people to ask me questions. in the recorded session it is like impossible guys because this is a recorded session but over there guys every session is going to be live session we give assignments questions tests are taken we have a revision plan we have micro courses guys do you know what are micro courses let's say an example you attended the live session of this chapter let's say an example you attended the live session of this chapter and if you wish to attend the live session of this chapter once again you can also watch the recordings n number of times any time if you want but if you want to watch the live session once again you can enroll to the micro course of this topic which can be taken by the other master teachers also and it is going to be live so basically by taking the pro subscription by taking the subscription you are getting so many advantages which are not there on youtube we have two teacher pattern wherein master teacher will clear all your concepts and class teacher during the class will help you with all your doubts and not only this guys we have a plan wherein you guys can ask doubts from morning 8 am till evening 11 pm is it possible on youtube it is not possible on youtube guys so with so many advantages and many other advantages what you guys can do guys we have two plans pro light and pro classic the basic difference between these two plans is like in classic you will come across a doubts app means from morning 8 am till evening 11 pm you guys can ask unlimited questions is it possible on youtube no guys and the price which you can see guys this is for entire term 2 which includes all the subjects physics chem bio mathematics english and entire sst yes with all these advantages now one more thing the price which you can see this is for entire term 2 but if you apply my coupon code ad pro this price will come down to you can see 8000 will come down to 7200 10000 will come down to 9000 guys for entire term to with all these advantages with the best teachers of india at your door step that's it guys now one thing i can give you in fact two things i can give you if you feel that it is difficult for you to pay 8000 or 9000 in one go i can give you emi options and one more thing if you want to try this plan we have a trial pack for 15 days also you know the price for trial pack is just nearly 1000 rupees with all these advantages if you want to give it a try guys these are the batches which are going to start soon and which have already started you will be part of these batches link in the description box if you go through the link which is there in the description box ad pro is already applied use this coupon code tell your friends to use this coupon code and be a part of my long term batches guys all right All right, so I would like to see you in my long term batches, guys. Chalo. All right, guys. Let's continue and let's talk about why is the conservation of ecosystem necessary, guys? Do you think is it necessary to conserve, to protect, to save the ecosystem? Definitely, yes. Obviously, yes, guys. It is very, very important to conserve the ecosystem. Why? First of all, guys, if we talk about our food crops, okay, they are selected from edible plants. What are edible plants which produces edible fruits which we can consume? all right secondly guys we have many medicinal plants and there are few medicinal plants guys which are only found in india theek hai guys there are many milch animals which are there in india like the animals were selected from a large stock provided by nature as milch animals milch animals are nothing but milk producing animals animals also provide us with drought power guys what what do we understand from drought power drought bar is nothing but working animals drought animals of working animals which actually assist humans in agricultural activities theek okay? hai so those are known as drought animals which provides us drought bar theek okay? hai 
Animals also helps us in transportation. It provides us meat. It provides us egg. Not only this, guys. Fish provides nutritive food, so it adds to the nutritive value of the people, guys. How? Uh, like fish is very very rich in omega-3 fatty acids with other vitamins and minerals so it also provides nutritive food and many insects also helps in pollination of crops hence conservation is very very important guys now but guys uh, we know that there are many reasons why the ecosystem is being damaged so do you know some of the reasons why the ecosystem is damaged Let's understand. Now, guys, just imagine if this session would have been a live session, you would have been like shared your views. Aapke kuch views hote hai, aap kuch share karte hai. But right now, this is a recorded session and it is very difficult for you guys to, it is like impossible to share your views, right? But in a live session, you guys can share your views. You guys can ask doubts, many other things, right? So, guys, no problem, guys. Join my batches and we will have a conversation, guys. All right. Guys, reasons for the damage of ecosystem. First of all, guys, excessive exploitation of plants and animals by human beings. Obviously, guys, um, like deforestation is going on. Okay, we are like exploiting the nature. All right. Hunting by the greedy hunters, poaching of animals for commercial purpose. Now, now, guys, I know you have a doubt between like you find it difficult to understand the difference between hunting and poaching. And guys, in most of the cases, we assume that hunting and poaching both terms are same guys both terms are quite similar but the meaning is different keeping in simple words hunting is illegal poaching hunting is legal and poaching is illegal simple as that like how hunting is legal hunting like when the permission is given by the government to a specific group of people or for a specific reason so here hunting actually is legal and poaching of animals is illegal. Poaching of animals may be killing of animals and plants takes place, but it is illegal, guys. Right? Okay, so hunting is legal and poaching is illegal, keeping in simple words. Okay, so this is increasing. Then pollution, which is happening due to chemicals and industrial waste and acid deposits. So like a like lot of uh, effluents are released from the industries, the gases which are released from the industries, it is contributing into degradation of the environment then reckless cutting down of forests as i already told you deforestation work is going on why as the population is increasing so we need more land for agriculture and we need more land for commercial purpose and for um, for inhabitation for humans for residential purpose and guys there are many other reasons why the ecosystem has been damaged now guys, what is the impact of all these stuffs? Let's understand. Due to these reasons, 1300 plant species are endangered. Means they are on the verge of extinction. Yes. And 20 species are extinct. They are gone forever. Quite a few animal species have also become endangered and extinct because of this. So the numbers are reducing. And there will be time then when... Uh, these species can also become extinct. So guys, there, it is very, very important that we have to take some serious steps, all right, to conserve the flora and fauna, the plants and animals. Flora is a term which denotes plant species and fauna is a term which denotes animal species. So it's very, very important, guys, that government should come up with some measure strict steps to conserve the flora and fauna. So let's understand some of the steps taken by the government of India. First of all, guys, the government of India has set up 14 biosphere reserves. Guys, Jitna um, Muji update as of now there are 18 biosphere reserves, but I would uh, suggest you use the numbers which are given in your NCRT. So, like in NCRT, it is given as 14 biosphere reserves. So, you have to remember 14 as of now, but there are 18 guys. So, our NCRT is not updated. Guys, out of these 14 biosphere reserves, Sundarbans in West Bengal. Nanda Devi in Uttarakhand, Gulf of Mannar in Tamil Nadu and the Nilgiris have been included in the World Network of Biosphere Reserves. Yes. Guys, not only this, the government of India is also providing financial and technical assistance to many uh, botanical gardens. Guys, what are botanical gardens? Botanical gardens are those places where plants are grown for scientific study and also for public display. Yes. So, providing financial and technical assistance to many botanical gardens by the government since 1992. 
Project Tiger, Project Rhino, Project Great Indian Bursted and many other eco-developmental projects have been introduced. So guys, what is Project Tiger, Project Rhino and Project Great Indian Bursted? So basically guys, Master Teacher Ananya Sharma has given some project to Tiger, Rhino and Great Indian Bursted and they are supposed to complete this project and submit it to me. Is it so? Mujhe mail karne ka kya koi project? Aisa nahi guys. So what is Project Tiger? I know the uh, it was very lame. So guys, what is Project Tiger, Rhino and Great Indian Bursted? Basically, their numbers are reducing and it's very, very important to have a special emphasis on these animals for their production and how we can increase their numbers. For that, 89 national parks, 490 wildlife sanctuaries and zoological gardens are set up to take care of this natural heritage, guys. That's it guys, that was all about in today's session. Now guys, coming to the homework question, if you people are new guys, so let me tell you in every uh, session of mine, at the end of the session, I always give homework questions. So I'm requesting from everyone that make sure that you people are giving the answers in the comment section guys after the video ends. So guys, two homework questions in front of you. The very first question, look at the image and tell me the name of the animal. Four options are given to you and the second homework question is how many biosphere reserves are there in India guys. Okay. That's it guys. So these are two homework questions for you guys. These are our batches. Make sure that you people are a part of my long term batch guys. Try to understand there are many many advantages. If you don't trust me, make sure that you at least give it a try by taking our trial plan. But this is my guarantee guys. You will have a great time with us on Vedantu's platform. Take care. If you are having a great time with us over here on YouTube. So just imagine how many sessions are there. Okay, so guys, uh, I'll be waiting for you guys in my long term batches. AD Pro is my coupon code. Do not forget to be a part of my long term batches. And as of now, do not forget to like this video, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for attending my class. I will see you guys in my next session. Till then, take very, very, very good care of yourself. Bye bye, guys. Take care. Jai Hind.